I'm going to be testing the highest rated long lasting Maybelline lipstick versus the highest rated long lasting L'Oreal lipstick. Over 6,000 reviews with four and a half stars. So I just got the closest fruit comparison. They're so different. It's so bad. I'm using the Maybelline Prime It Up Primer. I feel like fading wise it did fade just a little bit more. On Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane. <laughs> where my goal is to help you save money by comparing similar beauty products to see which one's the best for you. Oh, and to remind you that you are enough. Today I'm going to be testing the highest rated long lasting Maybelline lipstick versus the highest rated long lasting L'Oreal lipstick. It's going to be very interesting, so let's get into the video. Both these lipsticks have over 6,000 reviews with four and a half stars. A lot of people like them. I have tried the L'Oreal one. I have not tried the Maybelline one. I had this video idea because I am a long-lasting liquid lipsticks girl. Like, most of the time that's what I'm wearing. And so I wanted to see which one was the best out of these two brands. It seems like people compare these brands a lot. The Maybelline one is the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. And the L'Oreal one is the Rouge Signature Liquid Matte Ink Lipstick. How this is going to work is I actually already owned three shades of the Rouge. I tried them out before in a video and I didn't absolutely love them for longevity purposes. I've looked up a lot of tips in like, um, reviews and stuff like that to help with longevity purposes and then we're gonna do three tests and on the last test I'm gonna have a lip primer on to also help longevity to see if that does anything so I already had three shades in the Rouge and so I just went to Walmart and tried to find the three closest shades in the Maybelline one um, they're not perfect matches so I'm gonna look kind of weird that's life when you do stuff like this so I have a more neutral pinky mauve shade and then I have berry watermelon combo the L'Oreal one's definitely more watermelon shade and the Maybelline's more berry but Maybelline didn't have like a watermelon shade so I just got the closest fruit comparison uh, I think they'll look more similar when they're on my lips these rouge bottles are very deceiving the shade looks very different on your lips than it does in the tube and then we have these reds so we're gonna get started with the neutral shade and then we'll just go from there. So I think to make sure I keep things straight, L'Oreal will be on the right and Maybelline will be on the left through the whole video. This shade is I Rule in the L'Oreal and then the shade in Maybelline is Dreamer. So for the L'Oreal one, I read that you need to do one coat, let it dry, and then do another coat. That helps with opacity and longevity. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna split my face down the middle and do one lipstick on each side. I forgot to mention that. Maybe that was obvious by now. Guys, for whatever reason, I'm not the best at just putting lipstick on one side of my mouth. It's like everything I know about applying lipstick just goes away. Then apply another coat. Okay, that actually did seem to help with opacity a little bit, letting it dry and applying the second coat. So we'll see if that helps the longevity. And then we move on to the Maybelline, which, oh my goodness. So I've never tried this one before. I don't think I can remember. That's kind of stringy. Well, let's see how this looks. Very different shades. This, it has a very strong scent. Holy cow. It's like a candle. It smells like a vanilla candle. I don't know if I like that or not. I like how it applies though. So one thing I was really shocked about was the fact that the, maybe it's because it's my favorite and again, I hear so many people talk about it, like influencers talk about it online, but I was really surprised that the L'Oreal Infallible wasn't the highest, highest rated long lasting lipstick. It had really good reviews, but it had a lot less. Okay. Oh, that's very different. I wonder if anyone's gonna notice. Last time I did a lipstick comparison, I did the same thing. And no one noticed, but I feel like this is a bigger difference than last time. Um, the Maybelline one feels a little bit more sticky. It reminds me of the Infallible formula, where the Matte Rouge, which one of the things it's loved for the most, I'm pretty sure, is the fact that you really can't feel it on your lips. So I don't know if you can see when I close my lips and open them up, this side, when I like do that to my lips, this side sticks a little bit. It's not uncomfortable, it doesn't hurt or anything like that, but it's definitely noticeable. <laughs> It looks kind of weird when it's only happening on one side of my mouth. So, so far so good. I like both formulas. They look very similar formula wise, like how they're sitting on my lips. Feel very different. This is going to be a weird day. Right now it is 10 18. So basically I'm just going to go throughout my day. If there's a need to check in, I will. If there's not, I will see you at the end of the day. 
Okay, I'm gonna last to tell you. So, obviously, both lipsticks are gone a lot, but it's been about 12 hours, and they actually held up really, really well until about nine hours in, which I was shocked. Not so much by the Maybelline one, because I've never tried it before, so I didn't have like any like super drastic expectations, but I did with the L'Oreal one, because normally, especially when I wear uh, the this specific shade, what is this again? I rule. It like is gone in like two hours, um, which is longer than a normal lip gloss. Normal lip gloss, it's like gone in five minutes on me if I like drink water or eat or anything. And these both lasted through four meals because I had a snack. And also drinking out of my water bottle. So my water bottle has a straw piece and it is clear. And I didn't buy this water bottle because it has a clear straw, but it is really nice when I'm testing out lipsticks to see if they're transfer resistant. And I have zero lipstick from either side uh, on this bottle, which I drink, I try to drink a lot of water throughout the whole day. So if I have a non-transfer proof lipstick, you can see it <laughs> by like the morning. Uh, you can tell. That was awesome. I kissed my nephew a couple times on the cheek and it never transferred on him. It just kind of fades and they fade very differently. But okay, actually before I get into the fading part, how is this that? Anyway, anyway distracted. Um, we can ta now talk about, now that I've questioned myself on whether I put on the right shade this morning, <laughs> they faded very differently. So the wear felt very different. The Maybelline one was definitely more drying, but that's because the L'Oreal one isn't drying at all, period. And so most long lasting lipstick will be at least a little bit drying. It does fade not the most gracefully like the L'Oreal one does. Like when the L'Oreal one fades, it just kind of like disappears and you're like, where did it go? <laughs> This one, some spots really stick around and some spots don't. And it seems like it settled in my lips a lot more on the Maybelline side than it did on the L'Oreal side. I still liked how it wore throughout the day before it started to fade because it faded really, really patchy. But I could tell that there were two different formulas on my lips. Like it was like when I would talk, I feel like I ever got to apply lipstick onto one side. It was bad. Okay, but now that we know the trick of the layering the L'Oreal, I'm really curious to see how the rest of these goes because I feel like it's really easy not to mess up on more neutral shades like this and this but then when you get into like the bright shades like bright pink berries like bright berries and like reds it's a lot more tricky so that's why I like testing out one neutral and two more bright colors to see how well the formula actually does in those situations so let's move on to the next test day two we're going with the bright pink and berry color I represent and where's my other one and artist hopefully they look semi the same Okay, now we wait 30 seconds. While I wait 30 seconds, I want to tell you that someone did notice that my lips were two different colors uh, yesterday. I really didn't think anyone would <laughs> at all, but Kylie did and she pointed it out and she's like, are, you, are, you, are your lips like two different colors on each side? And I was like, you noticed? And she's like, yeah, why? <laughs> And I told her, and I was like, I did this a few months ago for like, I don't know how many lipsticks I did it with in the last video that I did something similar to this. But I told her, it was like, I did it for like three or five days or something. She's like, you did? I was like, yeah. And you didn't notice ever. No one did. Holy cow. That totally changed. Did I still have I represent? Yeah. That like almost makes it red. Oh, and it's all over my teeth. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, Maybelline side. I'm really scared about how all these are so different. Oh my goodness. There's that candle smell again. I always forget about it until I apply this. Why is it so much harder to just apply to one side of your mouth? Okay, I'm making sure I am applying it as evenly as possible up to the inner corner to see if the fading was my bad yesterday or if it really fades with the inner corners first. They're so different. This one has so much more of like a purpley tint to it. This one's like watermelon. It's so bad. Dang. Oh well, that's life. Okay, I'll let you know what happens at the end of the day. So, as you can see, some damage has been done, but it can be so much worse. So I do have some thoughts and feelings. It's been 14 hours, I think, and the lipsticks definitely did or reacted differently than yesterday. There was some transfer only on my water bottle, though. Like, everything else, all the food I ate, I, like, 
had, what did I eat today? I had, I had a quesadilla. Oh, I had a fudge sickle. That was so good. No transfer on that. I kissed my nephew again. The dog, like nothing. No transfer. It was just my water bottle. And it was just really from like the middle. And that's where I noticed for the most part where the wear is. I mean like towards the last, like within the last few hours, it's definitely worn a little bit on the edges. It's like really in the middle. And it was especially on the Maybelline side. I noticed that pretty quickly. L'Oreal side held up a lot better in the middle. I mean, it's still gone. I also feel like my lips felt dry on both sides today, which most likely is because it snowed today. This is like the first like official snow, stayed on the ground snow that's happened this winter. Technically it's still fall because it's not even Halloween yet when I'm filming this, but it's winter here. And so that just might be it's extra dry. Just because L'Oreal one's not drying drying formula doesn't mean your lips aren't gonna get dry. But overall, for the most part, I feel like they both did good, but the L'Oreal one did a little bit better, which just shocks me. But like I said, they don't look perfect, but it's been a really long day. So I'm curious to see what will happen now that we're now that I'm gonna incorporate a primer into the final round. So let's get on to round three. Okay. Final round, I'm so excited. Cause I'm just so curious, like, I haven't tried a lip primer with, obviously the Maybelline one, but not, um, uh, never with the L'Oreal one. So, oh, I'm using the Maybelline Prime It Up primer. I forgot it was by Maybelline. Okay, so for final round, we're going with I Am Worth It and Dancer. I love the names of the Rouge lipsticks. They're so cool. Okay. Wait, 30 seconds? Okay, it was actually more than 30 seconds, but that's okay. For whatever reason, I feel like whenever I do the second layer, it always gets all over my teeth. That looks good. Hey, this is not a bad matchup. It's not perfect. This definitely has some orange to it still. But it's definitely not the worst out of all. <laughs> Shade-wise, I'm just more of a blue tone girl. Like, this isn't super orange. I, was t I, I would not be afraid to wear this at all. Like, I am afraid to wear orange lipstick. But, like, just shade-wise, I prefer the L'Oreal. But I'm not going to take that into consideration when it comes to the end result. I'm just throwing out my feelings. Yeah, not bad at all. I don't think anyone would really notice. Which is good. That was the goal in the first place, was try to get the gloss and shades. It still bothers me that only half of my mouth is sticky, though. And the stickiness does wear down. I don't know if I said that throughout this whole video or not. The stickiness wear, does wear down. It's still there a tiny bit, but it's not as bad once the formula dries down. I will see you at the end of the day. So, it's been about 12 hours, I want to say, since I put my lipstick on, and I have some interesting information to tell you. So, as you can see, the L'Oreal side looks hot pink, and the Maybelline side has worn off around the edges on the bottom. It's still kept its vibrancy, um, but it's definitely worn off in a really interesting place. I don't, I don't think that happened the other two days. I don't know how I feel about either situation. I feel like the primer did help somewhat, not as much as I wish it would have. <laughs> Uh, it did transfer a little bit more than yesterday. I noticed on my water bottle it transferred, especially on the Maybelline side. It only transferred onto my water bottle, though. I don't think it transferred onto anything else at all. And then I think my water bottle just picks up stuff up really well. It felt comfortable throughout the day. It's just kind of weird. It didn't feel as dry as it did yesterday. And it's, the weather's still just as crazy, so I think the primer really helped uh, it not be so dry. I feel like fading-wise, it did fade just a little bit more on the Maybelline side. I have to make a decision now. And I feel like they're both good. And I will be wearing all of them again, especially now that I know the secret. And also now that primer does help both situations. I feel like the drawback is the Maybelline one does fade just a little bit faster in the middle, which is where it's most noticeable. Like if it fades around the edges, it's not quite as bad, which they both do. But the middle, I feel like it's just like, it's just right in your face. And the Maybelline one is, can be drying where the L'Oreal one, the Rouge, the only time I've ever had feel drying at all was yesterday. And I think that, that just was my lips not the lipstick. So I think we're going to crown the L'Oreal one the best out of both of these lines. Although I still would recommend the Maybelline one. I think it, as long as you don't mind scents, it's such a strong scent. I definitely would recommend both depending on what you are looking for. If you want to check out my battle of the infallible original formula versus the macaroon formula, you can click right here. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye. Mwah.